special drug that he'd put on his hand, and if he touched you, you would have a heart attack 24 hours later. And he did that to right. the Ultimate Warrior and Randy Savage. Right. Do you remember that one? Right. You know what? After further review, maybe I shouldn't have drank that orange juice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, my God. That's good stuff, man. All right. Let's get serious. Yeah. Okay. You're on the spot now, bro. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Why so serious? <laughs> we we're, about, we're about to get serious. Go ahead. Long-time WWE employees almost surely expect Vince McMahon to face charges following sex trafficking. Jimmy? He had an accidental bowel movement. Sex trafficking? Really? Mike, come on, man. What? What? what sex trafficking? You know what? I, I Can I give credit to... I don't remember the name, but I remember somebody wrote on one of our pages, this was a prostitution deal that went too far. Yeah. And I thought that that was a very... I thought that was a very interesting take. But one thing you, know you did I mean? say that I find interesting, and, I, and I'm serious about this. Do you think, being a man his age, that could have been an accident that happened on her head? And I mean, I'm being serious. Well, I'm being serious, too. And still I, until I see a stool sample presented in court, I don't believe one effing word of that one. But that's me. I want to see proof. And this is not defending Vince McMahon either. I'm defending the system that's, that we've stood by as, as a country for how long now? I want to see proof. Give me some proof. I want details, and I want to present it in a court of law. I don't, want to, I don't give a crap about what's been posted on the Internet or what you've read. I want to see how it plays out in a court of law. Okay? Mm. You know? Because all of this seemed to be okay when the first million dollars was given. All right? I have a problem with that. And I'm sorry if some of you, you know, can't understand that I want due process. That doesn't make me all the names that we've been called since we've started to have the nerve to defend the system. Well, Mike has had even more of a nerve to defend the man. Mm. Okay? If you don't like it, too bad. This is America. Mike served this country for the rights to be preserved and protected. Okay, if you got a problem with that, then you are not doing this country any service. And the concrete foundation that we stand on as Americans, you don't even recognize it under your own damn feet. Go well ahead, said, Mike. Jimmy. I'm getting annoyed. Well said. I'm getting annoyed. Here's a Go question ahead. for you. Does this, yeah. does this change your mind a little bit? So, again, we have so many great family members and fans that, you know. Yeah. Some, you know, so. We do. Again, not knocking on certain people, but Joe, what a day who's on our channel. You know, I think on the last show on Friday in Wrestling Remembered, they were doing a show on Vince McMahon. He brought up the the one unknown picture of, you know, Miss Grant, which has been all over the internet mm -hmm. for two weeks. He thought he found something special, but he didn't. But right, what we right. did <laughs> is a fan sent us something special. So, okay. number one, Janelle Grant, right, actually... Mm -hmm was an actress in a movie. She has a movie credit. Okay? Okay. She also has published a book on poetry. And can I can I give you the name of one of the titles of a poem which is on page 13 and you you can no longer buy her poetry on Amazon by the way, but it was on Amazon at some point. Um All right. Would, can I read this to you? Yeah, please. Oral fixation. That's a poem? That is a poem. Can you can you read the poem? I want to hear the poem. I'd have to pull it up, bro, but, you know. Wait a minute. It goes something like this. Holy shit, I'm out of luck. All I do is suck, suck, suck. What do you think? <laughs> but what do you think? Being that, it, it, hold me if I'm wrong here. Does that kind of change a little bit? Because you know how people are when they want to be Actresses or actors or poets, mm -hmm. but they didn't right. know it. Right. Ob <laughs> obviously, so when you get into that field, 
you're looking for some sort of fame and recognition. Is that fair to say? Right. Uh, I think it's even more fair to say that when a 38, 39, 40-year-old gazes upon a 75-year-old or so billionaire, they see dollar signs. What do you think, that that was really built out of, wow, he's a great guy, I think I'll let him you know, do this, that, and the other thing, and then he can give me a million dollars and I'll get mad because I want more? Get the hell out of here. Rid riddle, me the this, hell out of here. riddle me this, Batman. Riddle? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Vince McMahon is the guilty party in this relationship. But back in the 90s, before the internet, there was another lady by the name of Anna Nicole Smith who hooked up right. with a much older billionaire. Right. But in that court of judgment... Anna Nicole mm -hmm. Smith was the guilty party. Why Ooh. such role reversal, Jimmy? Well, uh, you're really going to have me get into all of this? Yes, Look, we've gone I am. Soft. Well, we've gone soft, and, and I don't want to get too deep, but I can almost draw it to 9-11. We were all patriotic and all together for a couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden, little chips in the... In the uh, and by the way, that's what terrorism wants, by the way. You're feeding right into it when you all fight with each other and uh, take your eye off the, uh, the, the road. You know, but but basically we've all gone soft and, uh, you know, it's no longer about it. It even comes down to the presidency. You're not elected for the issues. You're elected as to whether I like you or not. With the presidency, the role of the president, of the United States is decided on whether we like you or not, not the issues. So basically, uh, you have the Vince haters who've been waiting forever in their in their little basements with their TV dinner have been waiting forever in their, you know, rundown apartment with their bought and paid for by mail order wife. And you've got just, you know, they just can't wait. They couldn't wait for this. You know, whether it's a Vince McMahon or a Donald Trump or whoever is the, you know, the current flavor of the day that's hated. The, the haters have the loudest, most obnoxious voices. Isn't that ironic coming from the Pharaoh? Yeah. How do you feel now, haters? You're really annoyed that I said that, right? Mm. Good. Good. Jimmy, Jake Roberts had to say, it's very disgusting, Roberts said on his podcast, Snake Pit. But it doesn't surprise <laughs> me, and that bothers me. For me to be able to say that doesn't surprise me leaves me thinking, man, this is pretty disgusting shit you're looking at here. It doesn't surprise me. I believe the man is obviously partially insane. He's drunk with power. Jimmy? Well, I find it ironic because here's a fact, okay? The very same people who hate Vince McMahon are reading that comment from Jake the Snake Roberts and immediately marking out all over the place and going, that's right, because that came from the great Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, you mean the one that was trashed all the time? The one who basically, like, stole the consumer's money when he would show up at a pay-per-view in his later days? The one who comes from such a tragically distorted and messed up past. Okay? Are you serious? This is who you're going to be, like, you know, marking out for? Yeah, Jake told them, because Jake's a great professional wrestler. Are, do you hear yourselves? Because I know you're out there. I know you exist. Okay? I don't have to I don't have to travel to another state or go around the world to know how people think, especially the loudest, most annoying ones, which are the ones that just sit at their keyboard and self empower their own delusions. OK, Jake Roberts. Hey, much respect to your wrestling career. However, shut the fuck up. How about this one? Matt Riddle had to yeah. say. Mm hmm. When asked about Vince McMahon, he acknowledged allegations and noticed he wasn't surprised. Thoughts? Well, why should he be surprised? I'm sure he's uh, allegedly probably pooped on a few girls, right? We, we, know, we know how wholesome Harry is over there because he's another <laughs> wholesome guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's very wholesome. Yeah. Wholesome. I love, I, love the, I love the fact that these guys who, who performed a beautiful – beautiful sport called professional wrestling were given the best cars, the
the best stakes, the best houses to live in, and the best bank accounts. And the man who gave it to them, they quickly, quickly jam their foot up his ass. Boy, loyalty, thy name is not. And it's not even about loyalty. It's about who are you when you start to throw out shit like that? That's the main point, mm. okay? Who mm. are you, all right? Between Jake Roberts and Matt Riddle, now, if you had told me perhaps maybe Bob Backlund would have something to say about it, okay, okay. If, if you had told me somebody else along the lines that didn't have any kind of terrible, terrible, look, we all have faults, I get it. No one's perfect. But could it come from a, a little bit more reliable, credible source than Jake Roberts and Matt Riddle? No disrespect, or maybe, yeah, why not? Disrespect, okay? Because you're taking a crap on the man who gave you all the luxuries in life most of us will only be able to dream about, and you don't even know the facts because process has not been played out, and I'm sure you're still going to eat a steak tonight. I'm sure you are. Well done. Hold on one second. Abe, were you able to find that video? Couldn't get the... Uh the clip from the video but i have a i have a screenshot of the video oh wait a minute i want to see if i could pull that video hmm i was looking for the timestamp. um i couldn't find it uh but i can pull it up if we wait if we could you go to my facebook page on monty and the pharaoh it should be the first video up there sure sure i'll do that right now all right so while abe is doing that I want to start with this. We have wonderful players on the Monty and the Farrow channel. One is What a Day Joe. So Joe interviewed Francine and actually speaks to Francine about okay. Vin, uh, a Vince McMahon situation. So I'm going okay. to attempt to play this video, Jimmy. Now, of course, if Joe reports us and gets us a strike, oh, you know God what? Sakes. What We're gonna... day? <laughs> We're going to kill him. So... I'm going to no, take this, it's since Joe that. sent me the video, that he's giving us permission to play it, and I've got written permission. So, Joe, either speak up or forget, you know, or keep your mouth shut. Are you able to find it? <laughs> is it on the uh, Monty and the Pharaoh Facebook? Or yeah, is it Monty on... and the Pharaoh Facebook. All right. I'm, uh, I'm still looking right now. It should be the first video up there, I think. And, uh, Abe, you can pull it up just as long as you don't pull them down. Yeah. Was the one from Joe's? It's um, it is go a couple of pages down, guys. Just bear with me. It is where the hell is it? You're not prepared for class. Man! You know what? Can, can you go to Joe What a Day's page? Sure. It should be on there because we all know <laughs> Joe's a glutton doing? for <laughs> for fame. <laughs> what? what? Oh my god. He's got great hair, man. Leave he does have alone. great hair. I gotta give I gotta give Joe a lot of hair. credit. We could keep this going, <laughs> just waiting for this video. He's got good hair. For a guy that has he listen, Joe is a good looking guy. He is a good looking guy. Is I, gotta, he? I, gotta, I don't gotta, look at guys like that. He's good looking? Yeah, okay. He's got a nice, got so. a nice looking know. girlfriend. She's nice looking. Oh, what a yeah. day. Yeah. There you go. What, you why go? wouldn't you say what a day? Oh, I think I found it. Oh, he's got it. One second. So, gotta, Joe, I'm assuming you're giving us second. permission. Please put it on the chat that you give us permission. Hold on. You're going to get a big, you're going to get a big N.O. But, Abe, <laughs> no. I need you to stay on this video after you play it once because I want to show you something because I got to talk to Jimmy about this because this is just utterly ridiculous. Oh, my God. All right. What are you Hold getting on. us into here? What are you doing? All right, here we go. Watch up, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking. got to get the sound God. going. <laughs> Jesus, this is... Yeah. Oh, hold on, sound's not working for whatever reason. Oh, there, there you go. go. All right. No? The hell? You need to go when Vince is off. He was told by one of the higher-ups, you need to go in Vince's office, and you need to, like, put oil on your chest and lean into his desk and... You know, ask him. And, and I said, I don't do that. That's not what I do. Now, okay, so Francine gets told by one of the people working for Vince, yeah. oil up your chest, go in the office, okay? 
So, and Francine, right, makes a choice. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to push. But what's lost, right, and I I got a lot of respect for that, Jimmy, but what's lost in this is this. Play that video real quick again. Oh, no. What are you doing? (laughs) Sorry, guys. You need to go. I was told by one of the higher ups, you need to go in Vince's office and you need to, like, put oil on your chest and lean into his desk and, you know, ask him. Stop right there. And I said, I don't do Right there. Look at that face. (laughs) Is that the most (laughs) bullshit face you... Oh my God! What? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, God <laughs> what are you doing? Look, wow. wait a minute. Wait, you got to go back a little bit, Abe. God. Watch the eye roll and the head pull back. Like he's so offended by what she's saying. This is overacting, class one hundred and one. Everybody out there, if you want to be an overactor, this is the video to watch. Watch this again. What are you, what are you doing? Uh, you got to get the head on this? <laughs> That's perfect. He's disgusted. What are you, what's the problem? He's absolutely disgusted. It's disgusting. What is wrong with you? He probably thought to himself, he was probably picturing his own boobs being oiled up. What's the problem? Jimmy, one more time. I gotta, I gotta watch this one more time. Oh my God! Overacting one hundred and one, everybody. Not eighty-five dollars an hour. (laughs) (laughs) He's, he's, he's smirking. He's smirking at you right now. You see that? Look at that. Oh my God. Well, wait a minute. That is one oh. That is one oh one journalism. It's in the book. You didn't read it. What? Shake your head when you hear something. Look at this. Tilt your head to the side. Here we go. Because you know something's coming, right? Tilt your head to the side and then cock it backwards. (laughs) Yeah, well, you (laughs) waste. Because because it's disgusting. It's revolting. I'm not going to oil anything for Vince. Well. I don't know. What is he offering? Do, do you imagine if Joe What a Day was was? <laughs> I can't imagine if doing? Joe What a Day was doing the infomercial right? with us for Manscaped. <laughs> no. Can I say no? Am I allowed to say no? Oh, that was a great commercial. Leave it alone. What are you great doing? Great stuff. <laughs> oh my lord. Mr. X goes, damn, raccoon eyes. <laughs> raccoon eyes. All right, one more time. Just ju- I, just one more time, please. Ah, it's this classic. Is, this, is just, this is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> you know what makes it better, though? You know what makes it better? The, the, the glasses. The glasses make it the glasses make it even more convincing. Wait a minute. Think Are you accusing it. Joe of wearing fake glasses to seem like he's a real journalist talking to Francine well, about oiling her boobs? Well, I'm not accusing him, but what I'm saying is there's a lot of... Well, maybe I am accusing him. A lot of people put on glasses and go, don't I look smarter? And you know what's weird? It usually works. I'm not sure in this case, but it usually works. Mr. X is on fire. He goes, it doesn't take much to entertain Monty. No, I'm like a freaking... No, it doesn't. I'm like a... It doesn't. I could be entertained very easily. <laughs> Mr. X is, is spot on on that one. Oh. Spot on. What a anyway. Day. So anyway. What a day. Jim, what a day. <laughs> unbelievable, dude. You're unbelievable. Can I play it one more God. time? Can I just go one more time? <laughs> like I have a choice. Oh, fuck <laughs> oh! Oh! What do you mean? What do you mean? Put on your oil, your nipples. Oh! Unbelievable. So, Jimmy, unbelievable. On a serious I, I, you note. Know, Mike, Mike, no, on a serious note, you do realize your phone's probably going to be ringing half the night. Mike? Mike? One message after another until you get up at 4 o'clock in the morning when Vince calls to wake you up because you both have the same schedule. <laughs> get up! Wake up or I'll shit on you! Is, is, this, is this the worst thing that's ever happened in... Re- well, wait, let me ask you this. So, 
you made it clear. You want due process to be followed. You understand whatever decisions yeah. made. I've been yeah. very pro Vince McMahon, which has been pretty clear. <laughs> you think? But right. a lot of <laughs> do you think maybe a little bit. Do you Just think a, um, a lot of these people will talk about all the things that Vince McMahon supposedly has done? Let me ask you something. Right. Do you believe in the Jimmy Snooker story where Jimmy was arrested for the murder of Nancy Argentina and Vince McMahon showed up at the police station with a briefcase full of money and they said, okay, you can go now, and they took the briefcase? No. No, I don't believe that story. Do I think that there was phone calls made? Perhaps. That seems a little more feasible to me, but like Vince came with a suitcase, here you go! Okay! Do you, do you no, think Vince McMahon, who just spent all that money with his father, would have yeah. the guts to bribe right. an official just to get a wrestler out of trouble? Uh, especially, no, wait not, a minute, especially no. a wrestler who ends up becoming a non-entity in less than a year later, right? He goes to WrestleMania 1, and then he's forgotten after that. Right. Also, don't forget that this is before Vince actually, like, basically mor mortgages his house and his, ki his kids' college tuition funds to see if he can pull off this WrestleMania thing. So, no, I don't, I don't think that Vince would be stupid enough to do something like that. But then again, you know, there's always uh, the realm of possibility, but I heavily doubt it. Do you think Vince McMahon used his power within the company to influence younger women, whether it be by threatening their jobs or offering them money in order to have sex with them? Uh, do I think he influenced them? Uh, I, pr I think that it was probably made easy for him to suggest I could see that. But at the same time, when they're making it that easy for you, and uh, for those of you who don't think that women like that exist out there, wake, wake up, please. Okay? Just like the men are pigs, trust me, women can be piggy too. Uh, you know, I know, uh, here we go again. I know we're going to get a bunch of name calling going on now. But that's just reality. OK, there's good and bad in everyone, and it doesn't matter what swings between your legs or not. OK, so do I think that there were plenty of women who have thrown themselves at Vince over the years? Absolutely. Do I think that Vince might have had to pursue a few of them to see things in a more profitable way for them? Perhaps. Sure. That's possible, too. Do I know for sure? Nope. So let me ask you this question. We had this video that we just played from Joe. What a day. Joe, thank you for allowing us to use it. Um, you're a good sport, Joe. When you play that video... He's agreeing! He's agreeing! Did you see it? Yeah, I did. He's agreeing. When you play that video, though... Is this really about Vince McMahon? It's about someone telling her to do this in order to get Vince's attention. Is that Vince's fault? Uh... I think that I... I again, look... My basic summary of this whole situation with Vince is, is that someone saw Vince as an opportunity to get wealthy. Uh, when, when it got to the point that they, they felt that, okay, now it's no good for them, they wanted to be more wealthy. And then when they didn't get as wealthy as they wanted to be, they decided to play this game, all right? And that gets back to due process, and I want to see what happens with the due process. OK, uh, there are no saints here, I guess, Mike, in the end, isn't that really what we're trying to say? I know that's what I'm trying to say. I agree. There's no saint here. There is there no, are saints no saints here. So stop thinking that Alice in Wonderland or Cinderella strolled in and was completely taken advantage of. 